China preparing to physically destroy U.S. critical infrastructure, FBI director warns. Hackers linked to the Chinese government have infiltrated critical U.S. infrastructure and are waiting for the right moment to strike. This was stated by FBI director Christopher Wray, quoted by Reuters. According to him, a Chinese hacking group known as Vault Typhoon has successfully gained access to the computer networks of numerous U.S. companies in the telecommunications, energy, water and other critical sectors. According to the FBI director, China is developing the ability to physically destroy our critical infrastructure at a time of its choosing. His plan is to launch sneak attacks on civilian infrastructure to try to create panic, says Christopher Ray. In his interview, the hacker group's intentions are consistent with China's broader intention to keep the United States from defending Taiwan. As Reuters notes, earlier this week, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said that the Vault Typhoon hacker group is not affiliated with the Chinese government and is part of a criminal group specializing in ransomware. Recall in recent years, relations between the United States and China have sharply deteriorated, which was also facilitated by the Russian invasion of Ukraine. However, the main tension between the two states stems from the struggle for influence in Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific. So in March, the countries exchanged veiled threats of war. Last week, China also imposed sanctions against a number of American military industrial corporations. The truth is the Chinese cyber actors have taken advantage of very basic flaws in our technology. We have made it easy on them. Jen Easterly, who leads the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, told earlier, Unfortunately, the technology underpinning our critical infrastructure is inherently insecure because of decades of software developers not being held liable for defective technology. That has led to incentives where features and speed to market have been prioritized against security, leading our nation vulnerable to cyber invasion. That has to stop, Easterly said. The FBI and Justice Department have previously stressed their focus on preventing malign campaigns by the Chinese government and hackers. Two people have been killed in a Russian attack on the city of Dnipro on April 19. Six more have been killed in the city of Sinelnikov, including two children, and 29 other residents of the oblast have been injured. The five-story building in Dnipro was partially destroyed and on fire, potentially trapping people under the rubble. Two infrastructure facilities were damaged too. In Sinelnikov, four private houses were partially destroyed, and eight more were damaged. The region had survived another massive attack, with Ukrainian air defense forces shooting down some of the enemy targets, including nine missiles in the morning and two more overnight. However, some missiles still managed to hit their targets. I and Pavlorad, an enterprise was damaged, while the cities of Nikopol and Marinets were shelled with artillery in the evening resulting in damage to two private houses. The number of casualties continues to rise as the rescue operation is ongoing. The Russians also attacked the Nikopol district. In the evening, they shelled the town of Nikopol with artillery and Marinets Ramada overnight, damaging two private houses. Unfortunately, the number of the dead and injured will grow. We are continuing to clear the rubble of the damaged houses. Aid stations have been set up on the ground. Psychologists are at work. The police are accepting statements from those affected, Interior Minister Iyer Klemenko said.